Hey guys, it's Shannon with Get Fed. I am so happy to be with you guys. Um, I'm going to break off into prayer before I get into the uh, warring in the spirit discussion and showing you guys a little bit about how to war in the spirit because that's very important that um, we as Christians learn how to war in the spirit so that, that the war, so we bring the war to the physical realm when we war in the spirit, when we um, pray for protection, when we pray for God's positive outcome for um, us to be in correlation with that, then it comes out into the physical realm. So it's very important that we learn how to war in the spirit, but I'm just going to break off into prayer right quick. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all your mercies and your blessings. Um, we come to you humbly to ask you to continually um, provide for us, provision, have provisions for us, protect us, Lord. Protect us in our minds, our hearts, our body, and our soul. Protect us um, when we go out to work. Protect us in our everyday um, business that we have to attend to, Lord. Um, just give us the knowledge and give us the, the kind heart and give us a listening ear for you. Um, God, please, um, I ask for protection over my viewers, my subscribers. Um, I thank you for letting this, uh, channel flourish and God just, um, use me in any way you see fit in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay. Okay, guys, so we're going to talk about warring in the spirit. This is kind of like, um, and it was funny because I was talking about warring in the spirit to someone and, um, this, this kind of this, uh, this post came up on, uh, what is this Instagram or Facebook? One of those, I'm not really a, really a, a social media type person. I don't like to have too much junk in my brain, you know? Um, but it's very important when we're warring in the spirit, you can expect to bring the war, some of it physically to this realm when we're warring in the spirit. So uh, what I wanted to tell you guys was about that. You have to. Uh, uh, sorry, one second. Oh, what is this? My alarm. My Okay, kids are already at school. Um, the, we have to, okay, the first thing, I'm going to give you guys like a little prayer and things for uh, warring in the spirit. It's about, you can pray this over your children, you can pray this over your husband, you can pray this over your future spouse, and just like things like that. So, I'm just going to hold, hold on. Uh, first thing we want to do when we're praying in the spirit over someone we love, future husband, kids, or anything, we're going to pray for the, their brain. We're going to ask that God would um, keep their brain sharp and focused and um, their thoughts would not be conformed to this world, uh, but be tr uh, transformed and renewed by the power of God. Um, that's Romans 12, 2. We're going to, and then next we pray for their eyes. We pray for, um, asking them to guard their eyes diligently and, um, would not set anything worthless before their eyes that they should not see and guarding their eyes. And that's a Psalm 101.3. Um, we're going to pray for their ears. We pray for their ears. We ask that they be turned and tuned on to God and, um, hearing the small, still voice and remaining attentive in the Holy Spirit's promptings. That's Thessalonians 5.19 and Isaiah 39. Um, we're going to pray for their mouths. We pray for their mouths and ask that no unwholesome thing comes out of their mouth and um, not blessings, but not cursings um, come out of their mouth. And that's in Ephesians 4.15 and 29. And we pray for their hearts. We pray for their hearts. We're praying for, um, we're praying for the heart to have um the holy spirit within it and to be um to be renewed by the holy spirit and to um show love to your neighbor your friends even uh, your enemies and that would be um that would be mark 12 30 and 31 and proverbs 5 18 and 19 
um, and Malachi 4 and 6. Um, we're also praying for the arms. We're praying for the arms. We ask that, um, you know, that the arms don't uh, reach out for anything that, that they're not supposed to. You know, we don't want um, our children or anyone we love reaching out for things that they're not supposed to. And so we ask God to strengthen them and make them firm. Um, we take delight in the, the in the labor of God and all the things that he would have us do with those arms instead of bad things. And that's Psalms 90 and 17, Ecclesiastes 3.22. And um, we pray for their legs. We pray for their legs that they would uh, walk and be strengthened, walk upright in the, na in the name of the Lord and to um, give you endurance and hope. Um, and that's Hebrews 12.11. I'm sorry, 12, 1 and Isaiah 40, 31. And lastly, we're going to pray for their feet. We pray for their feet that, um, um, that they would be quickened, um, by the Lord and, uh, be, and, um, be, uh, removing all temptation and turning away from evil with those, with those feet, you know, walking away from evil with those feet. Um, and faithfully pursuing wisdom. Um, that's that's uh, peace and love and truth. That's Tim Second Timothy two twenty two, and Psalms thirty four fourteen, and Proverbs four five and seven. Sometimes I'm not sure if I'm doing that right or whatever, but yes, we have to, um, war in the spirit. If you guys want any kind of outcome in the, the physical realm, you're going to have to war in the spirit. Um, you know, those can, you don't have to, they can be quick prayers, the, just make it, you know, at least maybe three or four times a day, just quick prayers, or, you know, they can be really long where you're laying it on God so strong where, you know, you're just there and you're just, um, you're just laying it on God real thick, you know, and God wants you to do that. Um, <clears throat> next order. I think I was going to discuss the numbers a little bit. I think I'll discuss the numbers a little bit, or I might make another video for the numbers, but, um, that's pretty much it about warring in the spirit. We war in the spirit because we want to bring the war to an ext extent to here, to earth. We want to bring the war, whatever is bound in the earth is bound in heaven. Um, but we want to bring the war here. And so when we're praying in the spirit, it's, um, we are not only doing things in the spirit, but it will have a physical outcome. But I love you guys so much. I just wanted to share that with you and I'll be posting this post pretty soon and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, I love you guys and I'm going to make another video on numbers right now. So I'll see you back in just a second. Okay.